You know, the wild is, oh, the wild in Africa. I said, really, where is the wild in Africa? Other than the Congo, there is no wild in Africa. You have the Serengeti Plains National Park, the Nairobi <coughs> National Park, uh, in Botswana, you have the Brooklyn Mountains National Park in Rwanda. The, the world is becoming the Great Smoky Mountain National Park in this country, Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park. I know South America named a bunch of national parks. Or let's go to Australia. The point is, the only wild left really is the North Pole, the South Pole, and certain parts of the Amazon jungle. The rest of the world really are big national parks. And that's what we're trying to do is protect those national parks for all these animals. So when you ever get in a debate with somebody which you're fighting on face about turning animals in the wild, that's really easy to say. Like, where are we supposed to take all these elephants that were here, by the way, in this country? Put them on a boat, ship them back to Africa? That's what they last about one hour in the wild, the ones we have in this country now. So <laughs> take your hats off to this zoo and the other zoos that have these elephants because they're giving them a pretty good life. Animals and zoos today, folks, have it made better than probably 90% of the people that live in, this, in the world today. If you've seen what I see in the world, and I won't tell you what I see in the world when it comes to human beings and different countries and some of the tragedies I've seen, the starvation I could go on and on and on. And yet you look at animals and zoological parks, if it's a good zoological park, it's a tremendous place for these animals to be. Now, with that said, I was, I was going to try to show you a couple of, of a rescue center with <coughs> walls and stuff, but what I'm going to show you right now is